Good morning. Happy Friday. I'm Rod Hill. Uh, another sunny day. Uh, the big weather headline after several days of comfortable weather. We were in the 70s back on Wednesday. It was uh, 82 yesterday. Today we start to get a little bit, a bit more on the warm side. And I still think we could at 90 over the weekend. I am happy to tell you there's no lightning threat anywhere in our state today. And for the most part, including the coast, it's just flat out sunny to start your day. Now, wildfires, of course, continue to be something that our news and weather departments are uh, tracking carefully. Unless you're right in proximity to a, a fire, though, the air quality from DEQ continues to be mainly good. Those are all the green dots around the states. The exception would be some really bad air quality up north of Wenatchee in Washington. And then you can see uh, the air quality gets a little bit worse. Remember, the smoke has been moving to the east from these wildfires. So the air quality in Idaho, generally speaking, quite a bit worse than it is here in Oregon, which in fact is pretty good. Look at the blue sky from our Cannon Beach live camera this morning. Sunniest start at Cannon Beach all week. 56 degrees could be 70 in Cannon Beach and especially seaside this afternoon. So the beach starting to warm up a little bit as well. Here's downtown Portland. Just beautiful sunny skies. Our temperature is 60 degrees early in the morning. We'll be 74 noon and I have today warming up to about 86. Could be 88 for those of you uh, down in Salem. And here come those other temperatures on our 5 p.m. map this afternoon. This does show 70 Tillamook. So again, some warm spots at the beach. 81 in Kelso. This shows 87 in Salem, 88 in Albany at 5 p.m. today. And uh, some 90 starting to reappear when you jump east of the Cascade. Madras up to about 90, Burns 91. But the Grand Baker City uh, certainly likely to stay in the 80s today. And again, no red flag warnings posted for high fire weather danger. That's good news. All right, seven day forecast numbers. Uh, here they come. No big changes from what we have been sharing with you. 86 today. I'll be surprised if we don't hit 90 at least one of the weekend days, so possible on Saturday and Sunday, 88 Monday. And then the bigger story is probably you get into the final three days of July, starting with next Thursday, and it will be noticeably high. 94 on Thursday, we could be mid-90s going into that weekend as well. That's your seven-day forecast. Wishing you a happy Friday and a good weekend. I'm Rod Hill.